is because you want to you want to just have him handle the football just to like kind of reward yourself for all the work you're putting in. So I guess when, by him getting the interception, it was just like, I guess like the validation of the work he's been putting in. Jeff, what's your thoughts on Seven Banks? I think Seven Banks is uh, the next next great corner at Ohio State. Uh, he's really taken a tremendous leap from the spring uh, to, to fall camp to even now. And I think uh, he's taken a big stride to so Coach Halfley. He's just uh, really commended him for it. Hey Jeffrey, Robert Landers yesterday said that there are times that when we on the outside watch a play that we might think it worked, but you guys watching film are looking at it and thinking it was you not it. good. Is that is that the case? Are you seeing like little things on film that you just are really unhappy with? Uh, I, I wouldn't say that. I think some things that like, we want to be really in tempo with what we do. So it's things that we kind of are kind of particular about and the way we want to get it done. So. I guess things that are kind of acceptable to other people, the standards that we have for our defense, it might not be acceptable for us. But I think those those things don't really come around that often. Do you, do you guys consider this a rivalry game, especially given the last few years? Yeah, I was just talking to one of our trainers. I kind of consider this one of the bigger rivalry games uh, for us just because uh, like the history with them beating us three years ago and then having uh, two one-point wins the past two years, I think it's a big rivalry game for us. You're a draft eligible junior. I don't want to talk about the next step or whatnot, but have you given any thought about with it being the senior day, might we see you walk? Uh, no, I think the senior day is more so about the seniors and uh, the work they put in uh, over their time at Ohio State and just uh, setting them off on a high note. What's Chase Jeff been like this week? Uh, Chase has been really pumped up. I know uh, he hasn't played in a little bit, so he's really excited to go back out there and uh, <laughs> disrupt timing like he always does. Penn State struggled on defense a little bit the last couple games. What are you guys seeing on tape from them recently? How do they look to you? As far as defensively? Yes. Or, well, yes. Well, for me, I, I, haven't, I haven't really started their defense to see what they do to give you, like, I guess, an exact answer. No, I mean, uh, offensively. Oh, offensively. Yeah, oh, offensively, I, I think that they uh, they have they have really good skill players. Uh, the quarterbacks, they help get them the ball. They go a lot of uh, 11 personnel, 12 personnel. So we just have to be really detailed in what we do and uh, make plays when it comes to us. Sure. I know Rico didn't play last game, but he's been playing with that cast all season. What does that say about him and what kind of messages to send to the team that he's willing to go through the pain? I, I think I think it just uh, it just speaks to the kind of person he is, that he puts uh, himself, I mean, the team before himself every time. Uh, he came back his senior year to prove that uh, uh, to Buckeye Nation that he wants to kind of change uh, the perception of him, and I think that the things that he's done as far as becoming a leader, um, maturing, I think that he's done a really good job of kind of changing that perception. Which I just said, this is the best group of receivers you guys have faced this season. Like, do you agree with that? Yeah, I think, I think they're a talented group uh, as far as far as the big plays they're able to create. Uh, Kaiser Hamler, I know, I know he's a, like lightning in a bottle, so we just have, really have to be detailed in our technique and guarding him. And uh, but I, I think that with the players we have out there, really confident that we'll be able to uh, have a good showing. With seven and Cam and even, even Tyreek, how much responsibility do you feel to have them ready to go when, when you're no longer here? Uh, I think that with Coach Halfley and uh, the work that he puts in with us, I think that I'm not, I'm not really, I think I'm, I'm just being a leader for them and just showing them like things that I do with my routine. But I, I, I think that I trust Coach Halfley and his plan that he has because I mean, you guys see his plans working just for the defense, secondary. I just put my trust in him, really. Did you ever have any doubts that Coach Halfley's plan would work? Like, did, even going through it, were there times where it didn't feel right to you? Or uh, I think the only day that I was kind of like looking at him was just the first day I saw him because he's kind of a little guy, <laughs> big head. So you know, <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know what he knew about playing corner, especially press man. But then after after going through spring and just seeing the growth that we've all taken as players, uh, it was just easy to buy into what he was selling. That's funny. Sabin's a little guy too, you know. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a little. Williams of North Carolina basketball coach is a little guy too. He's a little guy with, with great track records. Though. Yeah. They, have, they have great track records. Yeah. So I just I just didn't know uh, what Jeff Halfley was all about. First impression. Hey Jeff, you know uh, when you look at Clifford, their their quarterback on video, you don't look at it sequentially, but what kind of thread is he now running the ball? I mean, how much is he in y'all's mind about? I don't think he's on Max Sorley's level necessarily, but uh, the way he's run the ball the last couple of games, what, what does that change about how you have to watch him? I, I won't lie to you. I really haven't seen his uh, his running ability on tape just because I'm watching so much of the, the passing stuff. 
So I haven't really seen how much of a dynamic playmaker is as far as running the ball. But they were telling me that, that I was, I was by a word that, he, that he's, a, he's a great great runner, I guess. Why are these games, why have they been so good the last several years? I mean, uh, so tight, et cetera. Yeah, honestly, they, they came out and like they punched us in the mouth. So for us, it's about getting starting out fast and not getting behind and putting ourselves in that position to where we're now playing playing from behind. We want to kind of maintain what, we, what we've done and play great first halves and then finish it off strong in the second half. How much do you feel questions? you guys as, as corners have really been tested this year? Uh, I, I think we have been tested uh, as far as with our, with our past defense uh, being ranked number one in the country. I think it's it just shows how, how good our, our D-line has been, but also how uh, how it's tied into our secondary and, and the increased play from everyone in the secondary, Jordan, Sean, uh, Arnett, and myself. So I, I think that uh, we, we've been tested, but people haven't been as successful running the ball on us. What will it mean to have Chase Young out there coming off the edge? It don't mean a lot. It don't mean a lot because the ball comes out faster. You, not, you don't really uh, see a lot of uh, deeper developing uh, route concepts. Uh, so you kind of play routes a little bit differently. Hey, Jeffrey, you last ended question. your last interview session telling us that you're more than an athlete. You wanted to sort of subscribe to that LeBron theory of being yeah. bigger than just. But what's your platform? What are the things that you're passionate about? Uh, I'm really passionate about um, cancer, people, uh, people that have cancer. Uh, I kind of want to get into kids who are dealing with parents that have cancer and just uh, providing providing for them uh, if I'm ever able to kind of have that financial ability. So that's always been like something for me is uh, helping out people that are affected uh, by maybe uh, siblings or parents with uh, cancer. Thank you, Jeff. So, all right, you guys take care.